Good morning. This is Pastor Phil. I hope that everybody's having a very blessed Thursday. I've got some things I want to share with you. It's been a while since I've come on here and, and done one of these uh, from our pastors, but uh, from our pastor. But I felt like I needed to share with you today and and uh, get us ready for some certain things. Our church, along with many others throughout the country and throughout the world, have been going through 21 days of consecration, 21 days of fasting and prayer, and and just really trying to get a hold of God for the year 21. Um, our church specifically we've been praying for breakthrough in 21 what 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 kind of breakthrough a breakthrough of god's blessings god's mercy god's grace revival souls being saved you fill in the blank we're ready for breakthrough and again praying god your will be done in all of these things i want to share with you out of isaiah 58 and then i'm going to share some uh, information with you at the close of this that i feel like you would that you may want to be a part of here at harvest um isaiah 58 says cry aloud and do not hold back Live up and lift up your voice like a trumpet declare to my people their transgressions to the house of Jacob their sins um, the very first thing that, that Isaiah says is I'm calling this nation I'm declaring this nation needs God this the, the, it needs God and then he goes on and he says why because Jacob's house the nation of Israel is backslidden they have they have sin in their lives and then verse 2 he says yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as if they were a nation that did righteousness and did not forsake the judgment of their god they ask of me righteous judgment they delight to draw near to god why have the, have we fasted and you see it not there uh, uh, the people of god are asking this in other words they're saying you're wicked you're evil but yet you still want to know me you still want to be close to me but you won't repent you won't get right and so you've even fasted and i don't see your fast you're not hurting you're asking god why don't you hear me why don't you hear us because uh we're praying we're fasting and god says because there's unrighteousness in your life um, in other words, he goes on, he says, uh, why have we humbled ourselves? They say, why have we humbled ourselves? And you take no knowledge of it. Uh, and, and here we go. Behold, in the day, days of your fast, you seek your own pleasure and oppress all your workers. Behold, you fast only to quarrel and to fight and to hit with wicked fists. Uh, fasting like uh, like yours this day will not make your voice to be heard on high. Uh, is, such the, uh, that, is such the fast that I have chose? A day for a person to humble himself is it is not, uh, to bow down his head like a reed and to spread sackcloth and ash under him. Will you call this a fast and a day acceptable to the Lord? Um, he goes on. He's saying, "Look, you're fasting, but with the wrong motives." A lot of times people fast for selfish gain. They, they fast to see what they can get out of it. In other words, I want you to understand you can't manipulate this great God that we serve with fasting. So that's not why we fast. We fast and pray so that we might draw closer to him, that we might be broken in his hands, and that God might begin to reveal to us the things in our life that may not be like him, the sin in our life, if it's there, that needs to be covered under the blood. That's why we fast and pray, so that we would bring ourselves in righteous alignment with God so that God can begin to, to move in our lives and throughout this world. He goes on and he says, uh, is in verse six, and this is a very powerful word. He says, these wrong motives have brought nothing. In other words, if you're fasting for the wrong motives, all it's going to bring you is hunger or thirst. That's all it's going to do. Uh, you're just depriving yourself. Uh, but when you fast with the right motives, listen, this is what the Lord says. Is, this, is not this the fast I have chosen? He said, this is the type of fast, to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the straps of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke. I believe that God is wanting his people to fast for the for breakthrough. And he talks about that. This is the fast I've chosen, to loose the bonds of the wicked. I want to save those who have sinned. I want to save those who are in, uh, in wickedness right now. God's ready to set some people free. And then he goes on, he says, to undo the straps and the uh, of, of the yoke to let oppressed go, the oppressed go free and to break every yoke. God wants to break the bondage, the things that we're tied to. There's too many sins that we're tied to, too many pleasures we're tied to, too many things that are distracting us from allowing God to use us to be an instrument of revival and renewal in this world. God says, this is the fast I've chosen. I want to break 
the yokes. I want to set the oppressed free. I want to cleanse the wicked uh, and make them uh, righteous again. Um, this is why we have fasted and prayed for breakthrough. And that's describing breakthrough in such a great way. So I want to encourage you to, uh, on Saturday night, if you're able to come to Harvest, we're going to have at six o'clock a worship time and then our communion service. Yes, six o'clock. If you are still socially not uh, you know, getting out and you're kind of like, uh, I don't really want to gather in a crowd, that's all right. I understand. But you can still participate in, in communion. You can do this by going to the store and buying some juice and, and, and getting some uh, you know, unsalted crackers and, and doing that with us. Or you can come by the church and you can get one of these. This is a pre-packaged communion cup. It's got the juice and the wafer in it. And you can uh, tune in at, on our YouTube channel at six o'clock on Saturday night and do communion service with us. This is going to be a powerful time of healing, restoration, breakthrough. And yes, we're going to see some people, the yokes broken in their lives. I want you to be a part of this. And so um, we're making these available for you to come by uh, tomorrow. That's Friday, this Friday. You can come by beginning at eight o'clock to 10 o'clock in the morning. We'll be, we'll be here. You can come in, get what you need and, and leave. And it's all prepackaged. Or you can uh, come by from noon to one. We'll be here. And then again, from about four o'clock to six o'clock, we'll be here at the church tomorrow. So again, from eight till 10, from noon till one, and then from uh, about four o'clock to six o'clock, you can come by and pick up uh, communion for your household, whatever you need. And again, tune in Saturday, six o'clock, and let's have a mighty, mighty time with the Lord as we watch Breakthrough in 21 take place. Again, this is Pastor Phil. We would love for you to come be with us in person. If, if what we're doing is blessing you, please leave a comment. Please let us know because we want to reach more and more souls. God bless you. Have an awesome week and we hope you'll join us this Saturday.